Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Wednesday, the fourth day of January 2023, and our topic for today is When God Breathes, Part 2. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, the King of all ages, our God and our King, we worship and we bow before your Majesty, you who is deserving of all of our praise, honor and adoration, our great and mighty God, the one who has never lost a fight, who is like unto thee among the gods. You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. We thank you for always being there for us. We thank you for fighting both seen and unseen battles for us. We thank you for being our great ally. When we have you, we have all that we need. For all of this and even many more things that you do for us, we say receive our thanks. Be exalted in Jesus' name. We have come again before you today, Lord, to receive your word. We ask that you would speak to us cause our hearts to be ready ground for your word as it comes. Let it find space and dwell therein. Let it flourish and grow until it yields bountiful fruits to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 16. 2 Samuel 22, verse 16 reads, And the channels of the sea appeared, the foundations of the world were discovered, at the rebuking of the Lord, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. 2 Samuel 22 verse 16 And our text for today is from the same book of 2 Samuel chapter 22. Now we'll be reading from verse 16 to verse 25. 2 Samuel 22 verse 16 to 25 reads, And the channels of the sea appeared, the foundations of the world were discovered, at the rebuking of the Lord, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters, he delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place, he delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him and have kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore the Lord hath recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyesight. 2 Samuel chapter 22 from verse 16 to 25. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today is When God Breathes, part 2. And in the body of our devotional for today, our Father and the Lord says to us that when God decides to breathe for the sake of someone, he may not do so directly on the individual. Rather, he could breathe heavily to blow away the fellow's enemies. Whenever you see the Bible say, blast of his nostrils, that is God breathing heavily to blow away the enemies of his children, as we see in Exodus chapter 15 from verse 8 to 10. With the blast of his nostrils, he parted the Red Sea that was standing in the way of the Israelites to the promised land, and then he made the waters return to drown Pharaoh and his army. When God breathes against your enemies, not only will there be no more, you will also be established in the place of your destiny. David testified to this in verse 20 of today's Bible reading. It reads, He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. With one breath, the Lord cleared off all David's enemies and also brought him into a large place. Do you know that God can do the same for you today? He can clear off all your enemies and take you to that same place that they have been trying to stop you from getting to. Now, I have always said that the summary of all Jesus' messages in the Bible is that 
nothing goes for nothing. In other words, there are always conditions to be met for everything that we expect God to do for us. What is the condition for God to breathe against our enemies and to lead us to the glorious end He has set ahead of us? It is in verse 21 to 25 of our Bible reading. Holiness. David said, The Lord rewarded him according to his righteousness and the cleanliness of his hands. Are your hands clean? When a person is faced with enemy forces he or she cannot defeat, an ally stronger than the enemy forces would be required to guarantee victory. The ally would, however, withdraw their support if the person offends them. Don't offend your ally. Don't do things that will make the Lord refuse to fight for you. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more says, When God Breathes, Part 2. And yesterday we saw the part 1 of this same topic, where we learned that when God breathes, it means that something rare and special is about to happen. God's breath brings things back to life. His breath restores. His breath can revive whatever is considered as dead and forgotten in our lives. There could be circumstances, situations, there could be businesses or careers, there could be marriages or ministries, there could be wombs considered to be dead. We learned that whatever the Lord breathes upon jumps back to life, making us fruitful again. Hallelujah. Today we are looking at the second part of our topic, When God Breathes, Part 2. And from our study today we are made to understand that God's breath also fights challenges and deals with our enemies. God's breath, also described as the blast of his nostrils, deals a heavy blow to the enemies of his children, irrespective of how tough or dreaded that enemy is. The story of Pharaoh and the children of Israel is a very good example. Pharaoh was not only powerful, he was also boastful. He was arrogant. In Exodus chapter 5 verse 2, he said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. He was adamant and stubborn. He was bent on keeping the children of God as slaves. It took ten terrible plagues to make him change his mind for a moment. He was stubborn enough to ride right into the Red Sea in hot pursuit of the children of God. But despite how tough and unbendable he was, the breath of our God was more than enough to handle him. When this happened, our God, whose breath alone can confound his enemies, arose. In Exodus chapter 14 verse 27, scripture tells us, And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Verse 28 says, And the waters returned, and covered the chariots and the horsemen, and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. I see God doing the same for our boastful enemies in the name of Jesus. I see him overtaking them and overthrowing them in their plans and their schemes against his children. I see him surprising them in the middle of their wickedness, as he grants us victory over them in Jesus' name. Now, while Pharaoh and his horsemen were being drowned, Verse 29 tells us, But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. The same places where our enemies have toiled hard to ensure that we never get there. The same heights that they have fought night and day to ensure that we never attain. By his grace and mercy today, he is breathing his breath of war, and it is sweeping them all off in the name of Jesus, even as we take our rightful places in Jesus' name. We are however made to understand from our devotional for today that God is our greatest ally and scripture says his eyes cannot behold iniquity. His eyes cannot behold sin. His eyes cannot behold corruption. If we must continue to have him as our ally, fighting our battles for us and granting to us victories on every side, we must ensure to do against whatever it is that he dislikes. Hebrews 10 verse 31 says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You do not want to become the enemy yourself. That would not be our portion in Jesus' name. We would be bowing our heads now to pray. We would say, Father, please help me to live holy in Jesus' name. If we must be victorious and have him breathe to clear off all of our enemies, 
then we must live holy. Ask the Lord today for the grace and the enablement to be separated unto Him. Ask Him today for a love and fresh desire to do away with anything that does not please Him. Ask the Lord that even in the midst of a corrupt world, we will take our stand for Him in holiness in Jesus' name. Ask the Lord also say, Father, in the name of Jesus, please breathe against all my enemies in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord today, say, Father, I hand over all of my enemies unto you. Fight my battles for me. I will them over to you. Just as you dealt with Pharaoh, deal with all of their boastings and manipulations. Humble their arrogance. Father, manifest yourself to them again as the great and mighty God, the undefeated champion. In the name of Jesus, pray also and say, Father, even as you breathe against all my enemies, help me to fulfill my destiny in Jesus' name. Grant me the grace today to fulfill all that you have planned for me. Let my life bring you glory. Let it bring you honor. Let my life fulfill divine assignment. I receive fresh grace and strength to march forward to the fulfillment of them in Jesus' name. Thank you, our Father in heaven. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for your word today again. Thank you for stepping in and for fighting our battles for us. Thank you for breathing against every enemy that stands against us. We ask, O Lord, that you would arise today and let all the enemies of your children be scattered. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Genesis chapter 13 down to chapter 17. Hallelujah. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Be reminded also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 10 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing In Christ Alone. Have a beautiful and victorious day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now.
I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.